Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into adaptive retail strategy. But first, let's talk about the word adaptive. It comes from the Latin word adaptare, meaning to fit or to adjust. In retail, being adaptive means continuously adjusting your strategies to meet shifting market demands. This concept is more relevant than ever, as we have seen in the reports from McKinsey, which show that adaptive brands have consistently outperformed their less flexible competitors, especially during times of disruption. So what's adaptive retail? It's about dynamically adjusting your approach across all areas of your business, from creation, planning, making or buying, fulfillment, curation, and marketing to sales and service. According to McKinsey, fashion companies that embrace technology to adapt will improve their cumulative cash flow by a whopping 118% by 2030. And those who don't will see a relative decline of 23%. This is directionally true for any industry where there is a dynamic market. We have also seen this with our own customers. Fashion and lifestyle brands and retailers with adaptive creation strategies have improved their new product win rates by 50 to 75 percent than those who don't. Let's break down the core values of an adaptive retail strategy. It all starts with customer intimacy, understanding your customers deeply, then agility, quickly pivoting as needed. Agility is from knowing shift in consumer taste and preferences to right through the value chain up to fulfillment and loyalty. You know, most investments in retail tend to focus on areas that are closest to the customer, like personalization. I recently spoke with the head of personalization at a large digital platform, and he shared something very interesting. He mentioned that despite optimizing their personalization engine for better conversions, they hit a tipping point. He realized that no matter how well you personalize, if you don't have the right products, it won't make a difference. It really drives home the point that retail is all about balancing great products with understanding of your customers. Focusing too much on one area like personalization without considering the entire value chain can limit your success. It's all about creating an adaptive strategy that covers the whole spectrum. Is there a framework? for adaptive retail. We have coined a simple acronym, the PEER framework, which helps to sustainably embed, adapt as a habit within the organization. It stands for plan, execute, evaluate, and reinvent. This critical approach is essential for continuous adaptation. Let's break down the PEER framework, a strategy that keeps your business adaptable and focused on the consumer. It all starts with plan, laying the groundwork with a consumer-centric strategy. Here, it's all about finding the sweet spot where market opportunities align with your strengths. This isn't static. It's a dynamic process of continually reassessing where to invest your resources to get the best return. Next is execute. This is where your plan comes to life. You are not just setting goals, you are putting them into action. Every move you make should aim to satisfy your customers and respond to market shifts. Then we move to evaluate. After executing your plan, you need to measure the results. Did you hit your targets? What worked and what didn't? This is where you learn, not just from your successes, but from your failures too. Understanding what didn't work is just as important because it gives you the insight you need to improve. Finally, there's reinvent. This is where you take what you have learned and use it to refine your strategy, whether it's tweaking small aspects or overhauling the entire approach. The ability to adapt quickly gives you a competitive edge. This is one area we all can learn from software. Software companies are proud of fixing bugs and release their new app versions almost daily. Throughout all these stages, technology is your ally. It helps you gather insights, execute plans, 
evaluate results and reinvent your strategy. It is the backbone that supports your entire process, ensuring your decisions are informed, strategic, and timely. In conclusion, adaptive retail is about being flexible, tech savvy, and customer focused across every aspect of your business, whether it's creation, making, or buying, fulfillment, marketing, sales, service, and beyond. Like Rick Lynch in his book, Adapt or Die, emphasizes the importance of being adaptable as a leader. Like the military leaders constantly adapt to changing situations on the battlefield. I've shared the link to the book in the comments below. So be sure to check it out if you're interested in diving deeper into this topic. As we wrap up, I would like to leave you with a thought from Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching. He reminds us that a tree that is unbending is easily broken. In other words, staying flexible in our approach, whether in business or life, makes us more resilient. It's a powerful reminder that adaptability isn't just a strategy. It's essential for thriving in a constantly changing world. Keep this in mind as you navigate your own challenges. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to follow for more insights on the future of retail. See you soon. Until then, stay innovative.